that what you guys have all learned was all my talks always about being honest, busting ass, and being good people when you grow up. Not just not just to swim fast, of course, that and get your hand on the wall, those are very important too, but but to be honest and don't make excuses. Don't blame Valatori if you didn't swim fast. Because you gotta take responsibility and if you ain't get enough rest, then you rest yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Lean was good at that. <laughs> Telling you how to swim a race. Some of you would listen. Some of you didn't want to hear it because I made you nervous. I was Barrett. <laughs> so I was smart enough to keep my mouth shut and just lead him up to the box. And Hayes getting his hand on at the end. He never really wanted to anchor a relay. I used to have to. Well, I had to force him to swim the relay at the end because he he didn't want to do it. He'd rather go second or third. He he didn't want the heat. And I'd say, Bruce, if anyone's near you, they ain't gonna beat you. So you gotta anchor the relay because that's what we need on the end. Well, he finally realized I was right, and he got the job done in eighty four. He's a strong competitor. And it's just like the relay, when the meat came down to the relay, and uh, they're walking up to swim, and Leany wants to know, Coach, how should we do our starts? I said, Robert, well, we practice them plenty. Just take off, man. <laughs> <laughs> just go. You're not going to jump. You, you practice it enough, you're going to get it done. You just see yourself kicking their ass. <clears throat> and it's Texas, and we're better than they are. We got bigger hearts. And we kicked their ass. And we won the meet. And but but as a lot of you people have said in here, it wasn't just that team that won. Everybody in here at the same had a lot to do with that. Because you had the same desire to be winners and to get the job done for each other and for UCLA and for me. And that's what it's all about. And it's the same thing in your life, the way you all turned out. You're good people, and you care about your family and your kids, and that's that's. You know, that was my job as a coach, not just to, to get you to swim fast, but to get you to be good, honest people. No bullshit. Be honest and and face up, and don't make excuses. Because the world's filled with people that are afraid to stand up and lose, and then stand up and get it done. Just like old Teddy Roosevelt said, the fewer your figure is seldom to be seen and to be counted. It's the people that stand up and aren't afraid to fail that are successful. Because you're going to fail. It's, you know, it's, it's going to happen. Just don't quit. And you guys don't quit. And that's what it's all about. I love you all. And really thank you for coming. It really meant a lot to me. And I'm so glad to be alive and be able to see all of you. And be sure to come to my place after uh, afterwards. We'll talk some more. But, as I told a lot of stories last night, and I got a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't tell you the RV story. <laughs> My first year at UCLA. <laughs> I wanted to make an impression because the, the program at UCLA was fine. Right. George did a pretty good job, but he wasn't real tough as far as keeping his guys in line because he had some great swimmers, but they were pretty crazy. So I think the first team meeting, I tell everybody we're ROTC room. <laughs> and uh, who was it? It wasn't part of it, it was somebody, I forget who it was, but they were sitting in these the chairs that the Marines let us have this room, and one of the swimmers had his feet up on the table. Remember that? <laughs> and I'm standing up there. This is my first time meeting with all these guys that I don't know have them. First thing I said was, whoever died back there with their feet up on the table, 
Sit your ass up in the chair and get your feet off the table. You got to respect this room. This is a bunch of Marines right here. That was my first words. <laughs> and then the next ones were, we're having 13 workouts a week. We have 13 workouts a week, because I want these guys to understand something. We're going to work. We're going to have fun. You want to go out and drink and raise hell? That's fine. Your ass better be a practice. And I don't want to hear about it. I just want to maybe hear about it later. I want you to be ready to make practice and bust your ass. And then everybody was that way. We didn't have anybody who was sitting on their ass not working hard. They wouldn't be there very long. That's right, they wouldn't. So it's, it was a great run. I'm sorry it didn't end it because I thought I'd die on the deck of UCLA, but it didn't happen that way. But I really appreciate the, the letter from the athletic director and, and you guys busting your ass to get me to be in the Hall of Fame. That's nice, but, but it's all because of you guys. I mean, I go in there, it's, it's like you're all in there. And uh, thank you very much. But the RV story, that was, uh, that was where I wanted to, you know, the guys came up to me, it was Goodell and uh, Bartle, he said, Coach, we, we're having trouble. We want to take the, I want to go up to the football game at uh, Cal and Stanford, was it? But Coach, we, we, we need you to help us rent, the, rent this RV. We're going to go up there. I said, yeah, you're going to go up there. I'll well, have a good time. And I said, that's fine. But, but if I get this RV for you, I, whoever drives can't be drinking now. No, no drinking uh, for the driver. Oh, no, coach. No. <laughs> so I rent this RV, this big RV, for, for the team. And I'm taking my son, up, my older son, Brent. I'm taking him up to go to see the game. And who comes driving by me on the freeway, on the way up, but the van. And everybody's sticking their ass out. The <laughs> They're all mooning me and my son. And my son looks up, he says, Dad, let's look at that, a bunch of asses hanging out there. I said, well, that's our team. <laughs> that's uh, Goodell and Bartle and Long, and they all hanging their ass hanging out. The They're mooning me. And I'm thinking, holy shit, who's driving? I don't even know if they had a driver. I think somebody was driving, but to this day, I'm not sure who. And I'm sure he might have had a beer in his other hand. All I know is I was kept thinking the whole time, jeez, I hope they get back in one piece. But of course, they made it. But I wonder if if I did that today, I'd probably get fired. Right? Yeah. Uh, oh well. Yeah. I, I used to bounce people off the walls too, like like Jager. I remember one time we, yeah, we did have some battles with Tom. <laughs> but Tom never did like to be in the water too much. He he'd always come up to me and say, "Coach, if you give me a hard workout and I do it, can I leave?" I said, well, "Of course." If I'd give him a real hard set, and of course he'd do it, and then I'd let him go. But uh, he's, he was uh, he was a piece of work, but he's finally grown grown up and turned out to be fine. But uh, we had some fun. All right, let's eat. Thanks, you guys.